Hi guys, I'm Johnny. Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Johnny. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a whole roasted chicken. It is so delicious and I think you're going to love this recipe. So, let's get started. So you will need a whole chicken that I rinse and pat it dry, a lemon, onion powder, garlic powder, ground oregano, sprigs of thyme and rosemary, a whole head of garlic, melted butter, salt, and pepper. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just put my chicken in this position and I'm going to season the cavity with salt and pepper. Make sure you season your chicken very well. Salt and pepper into that cavity. Once you have seasoned your chicken, take your melted butter and ground oregano garlic powder and onion powder and you're going to give it a mix until it forms like a smooth paste just like this now take your lemons and quarter them and you're going to stuff your chicken with these lemon slice uh, pieces stuff your cavity, the cavity of your chicken. Now take the garlic head and cut it in half and you're going to also stuff that inside the chicken cavity. This is going to add extremely flavors to your chicken. Also take the sprigs, the sprigs of rosemary and, and thyme and you're going to put it in there too. Now you're going to take some kitchen string and you're going to tie the drumstick of your chicken. I'm doing this because they have the tendency to burn in the oven and like this they that will prevent from happening. Now I'm gonna take two of my garlic, two of my lemon pieces that didn't fit inside the cavity and I squeeze it on top of the lemon, on top of the garlic, onion powder, oregano and butter mixture that will add more flavor and I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to brush this mixture on top of my chicken everywhere I can. You don't want to leave any spot behind. Just like this. Now you gotta season your, your chicken with salt and pepper. Season it very well. It might, it might look like a lot of salt but it's not. Now this is what I do. I just twist the wing of my chicken because I don't want it to burn in the oven. So here I have a pan that I line with some pieces of onions and I'm going to bake my chicken on top of that. You can also add all the vegetables you want like carrots, fennel, anything you like. Once the chicken is ready to be baked, you're going to bake it at 400 degree, 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour and 30 minutes or until it's fully cooked through. My chicken baked for exactly 1 hour and 30 minutes and I'm just going to remove it from the pan and let it rest in the cutting board there and I'm going to cover it because anytime you cook meat you have to let it rest before cutting into it so I'm just gonna let my own rest for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes is how I just put it on a plate and a trick to know what if your chicken is ready if you just give it a little wiggle on the leg and if it moves like that it's most likely to be ready and if the juices are running clear with no blood and stuff it is ready now I'm going to give this a taste mm. wow so flavorful the skin is crispy crispy the meat is so moist and everything is full of flavor. I hope you give this recipe a go. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what other recipes you want to see. And I see you soon. Bye bye.